Hey there, fellow hunters. I got some news for everybody. Now, essentially, let's just jump right in. Let's start with the Lucky Lunar New Year. Now, I'm super hype about this event because, it, um, well, I'm a Dual Blades fan. I know you haven't seen me gotten my you you haven't seen me use a lot of Dual Blades in my recent videos. That's just because I'm still trying to get them up to par. You'll see my Barriots are well <laughs> blizzariots are grade six two out of five your boy just needs three more tails um and essentially i just need another zenogre plate uh so whew, i got some zenogre grinding to do i literally just did an eight star my third eight star for the day uh still no luck so i'm just gonna wait for the next free reset which is later on today anyway jumping back into the uh the lucky lunar new year we have some interesting news. So we got Pink Raytheon coming back in the field and also at Huntathons. So you'll be able to, similar to, to Zenogre as the end game fight, you'll be able to hunt Pink Raytheon, Pink Raytheons and Huntathons. So what that tells me is um, that even after the event ends, she may be available in Huntathons. Mm, essentially, permanently moving forward right that's just speculation don't hold me to it because i know she will be in the field again from thursday february 1st until the next thursday february 15th so we got two weeks but most importantly we got some exclusive equipment coming and i'm super hyped because we have a dragon element hammer and we have dragon element dual blades so for all you guys looking to chop it up with some dragon element let's go and a head armor with crit boost. So this is gonna be a really good head armor for general use, not like the event head armors that we've had in the past. I know we got the punking, which is, you know, plus 20 attack normally, but during the Halloween, it's plus 100 by yourself and then 100 for every other teammate. So that's all pretty good. But you know, since it's like time specific, it wasn't very good. And then the happy new year helmet, that's just 20, hey, happy 2024. It doesn't really do anything for you. So we're finally getting our first event exclusive head armor that's just going to give us crit boost so we can have an extra point of crit boost and build up those crit boost sets. Uh, I'm actually working on a file to show you guys later on the difference between crit boost and other elements because I believe crit boost is end game material, right? So um, that's all just having you guys, you know, giving you guys the news, getting you guys prepped for what's about to come. February 20, February 1st, that's essentially a week and a half, right? Because I believe that's a Thursday. Yeah, it's said a Thursday. What am I saying? And today's Monday as I'm recording this video. So get yourself primed and ready for Pink Raytheons because um, I'm looking to make some dual blades to take her down, right? You get some dragon dual blades. Um, that's essentially going to be good against Raytheon, Rathlos, Pink Raytheon, Azor Rathlos, I believe, is also weak to Dragon. And we can go through it. Monster Guide. Who else is weak to Dragon? I believe, Di was Diablos a little weak to Dragon? No, let's double check. Oh, yeah, Diablos was a little weak to Dragon. At least regular Diablos, not black one. Um, Rattlebond's also weak to Dragon, Bombero's also weak to Dragon, so Dragon Element is definitely worth, like, building up on, guys. Um, but anyway, just gonna keep it light, that's it for the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, but, you know, um, we got two weeks to grind for Dragon Element Dual Blades, and I'm down. Let's go, let's get it, let's, I'm try trying to minimum get it to grade 8, I got two weeks, so... You know, build up the hype. Happy Lunar New Year. Let's go, guys. Happy hunting.